Yo, what is up guys? Shinobi Evie here back again with another video for you guys. In today's video, we, as you can probably see, we are doing a tier list. Now, the way we're going to do this, because this is all these characters. We're going to do male characters first. If you know, This is me choosing my favorites, so keep that in mind. This is my opinion for my favorite characters as a new player who has not been playing this game that long. I've been playing this game for less than a year. I started back in August of last year. In fact, my first 5-star was Kaching, and then after that, I had gotten Kazuha, and then on top of that, I think Kazuha, and then after that, what was it? I think Kazuha and Chi-Chi, I got on the same pull, right as soon as I got home at work. So, like, I haven't been playing for that long, so I'm still kind of new. But we're going to be kind of doing a little bit of a tier list now. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. But I never really had the time to with all the stuff that I've been doing. But I want to start branching out, kind of doing some new content, some fresh stuff for you guys, doing tier lists and all sorts of stuff. And also, this tier list is also going to be going based on just what I know so far with Genshin. Because I haven't watched all the trailers and everything yet. So, if you guys want me to do all the trailers and everything, then leave that down in the comment section. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into it. So, we're going to start out with male characters first. So, that's that's we're going to just do that right off the gate. And where the heck is Kazuha? Where is Kazuha? Because he's S tier immediately. Like I'm not even gonna waste time. It's time. I'm not gonna waste any time trying to tell you care who my favorite ones so far are. So so far favorites, um, Kazuha, a uh, One Punch Man himself. And this is also talk about playability too. So a lot of these characters I don't have or haven't played S tier. So that's also another thing that will be dictating this. But Kazuha, Haito, um, D. Luke, as I put him in A tier. I put him in A. Same with Baro. Vinci, definitely S tier for me. Zhongli, S tier. Child, S. Oh, actually, this is S, S tier. Child, I'll put him in S tier. I like his character. Same with Zhao. I put him up here as two. In fact, honestly, he's kind of edging towards this. Kind of edging towards this for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Toma, I put him in B. Uh, Albedo, B as well. And I'm kind of tempted to put him up here because I'm really interested in the lore of Con Conria. And he's kind of like, besides, you know, Dane Slip, anyways, he's kind of like the last link we got to Conria, Conria because of, you know, all, you know, gold and everything like that. But other than that, nah, nothing too crazy. Ayato, definitely up in the S tier. You know, get him up in there. I'll hit them also up there. Uh, I have no clue where I put you. I think you're high A tier. You're like high in the A tier. Why was Duluth does not want to move? Duluth said no. <laughs> Duluth did not want to move right there, bro. Uh, Titanari definitely. As I love. I don't know what it was about the last, the last update they came out with. The last update they came out with, bro, they did a really, really good job of just, like, character development and everything, especially with, like, the people from Simmer. Like, they did a really, really good job. Kaya, uh, I'll put you right here. I'll put you right here. Who else? Skarmish, you're right here. Razor, I like your character design and I like you as a character in general, so you're kind of like up there. I wouldn't say I'd say you're right. No, you're, no, you're in the back. You're definitely the back. We haven't had a lot going on with him. Um, Ito, definitely there. In fact, honestly, I think he's above right. Razor's just getting pushed back. Like, I feel like I feel sorry now, though he is an S tier. Uh, who else do we got? Who else we got? Oh, Sino, yeah, um, S tier, S tier immediately. Um, Sino definitely going in the S tier. Bennett, uh, A tier, and I put you right about here. This this seems like a good spot for Bennett. Am I missing anybody? Okay, now I'm putting Chun Yun here, and the only reason I'm putting him here is because I have no experience with him at all. In fact, I've only seen him maybe a couple times, so I don't know where to put him. So I'm kind of like putting him down here right now. And I think that's all the male characters right there. So, not a bad tier list, I would say so myself. Not a bad tier list. And I see a common trend is too. It's like, a lot of my favorite characters are, like, from either Mondstadt. I don't know, it's kind of it's mixed. It's kind of mixed. 
Well, a lot of my favorite characters are Animo. Animo is my favorite unit, so... In fact, honestly... Yeah, no, I think this is it. I think this is good right here. Also, fun fact, a lot of people... Well, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Kazuha and... Um, I... Uh, I think it's Kazuha and Zhao. I think Zhao has the same voice actor as Kirito. And Kazuha is the same voice actor as Yu-Gi-Oh. So, fun fact with that. But what we're going to do, we're going to reset the list here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the female characters next. Be right back. Alright, so we reset the list. And I have a feeling this is where people are going to start flaming me in the comment section. So, now, just disclaimer. I don't think any of these characters are bad the way I'm rating them. Keep in mind, I'm still new here, so I haven't experienced a lot of these characters yet, and I haven't watched all the trailers. So don't be trying to destroy me in the comment section, because your favorite waifu isn't up there, alright? I already know how the Genshin fandom is when it comes to, you know, their favorite characters and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to that. And if you're wondering why I haven't rated the Travelers yet, it's because honestly, I don't really have too much of an opinion on them. They're definitely good characters, and the story behind them is definitely interesting, especially since we don't know where they came from yet. But I didn't want to have any bias for that. In fact, me personally, I prefer Lumine. I like Lumine and Aether the same. Though I do know that the community, for the most part at least, likes Lumine a lot. And wants to see more of her. So, that's just from what I've seen anyway. So, not going to do any bias off of that. I like both of them equally. So, no, no, no real ranking for them in the list, if I do say so myself. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the female characters. So, I'm just going to get the low tier list out of the way right now. So, Amber, Alloy, uh, Diana's gonna go up in the beach. I don't dislike her that much, but I don't know a lot about her much. And I, like, I like her playstyle too. She's, like, more of a healer than anything, but at the same time, eh, she's up in the beach here, in my opinion. Official, definitely gonna be up in, I'd say, beach here. Beach here. In fact, honestly, let's just get my S tiers out of the way right now. So, um, <sighs> Let's just get my S tiers out of the way right now. Uh, where in the heck? So, um, my S tiers, um, Kokomi, Ganyu, Kaching, Lisa. Where is Sucrose? Shinhei. Honestly, no, Shinhei's kind of like an S tier for me. Uh, A is definitely up there as well. Where is, um, actually, where, where, where are you? You're definitely here, too. You and Mia, definitely, I put you in A as well. Well, I mean, as, uh, no, I think she's, I can't even decide. No, I put her in S. I put her in S. I liked her story quest that we got to do when we was in Inazuma, so I liked it. Uh, Kujo Sara, I put her in A. Ayaka, also in S tier, same as Ilu. Or... I cannot say her name to save my life. And here's the thing. I've never played with her, and I've rarely seen her character trailer, but I love her design, bro. I love her design. Noelle, also going up in there. Chi-Chi, I put you at A. Ningguang, also S tier. Uh, Xingling, A tier. Nahia. Honestly, Nahida, I'm putting her in S tier, mostly due to the fact that I liked her character development, in my opinion. Aside from maybe Zhang Li, she's like the best Archon out of all of them. She's literally the best Archon. At least the ones that we've seen anyway. I haven't, we haven't seen the other Archons yet. So she's definitely S tier as well. Uh, Kole, I also put I put her in A, a tier, I'd say. Um, let's see. Why is there two... Okay, why... Why is there two cookies? I don't get it. Oh, A tier though. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Yalon. I put Yalon in A tier. I put her in A tier. Um, no, you Nilu A tier. Uh, uh, no, double S for sure. Layla, B tier. Furzon also B tier for me. The new character that just came out, whose name I cannot remember. I put her in B tier. She's an adorable character, but not one of my favorites. Uh, Sayu, who's basically Sonic and the Hedgehog. Just because you're a ninja, I'm putting you up here. Just because you're a whole ninja, essentially. <laughs> putting you in A tier, and you're really good for transportation. Klee, you blow everything up, so you're going in freaking S tier. You, you, you blow stuff up. Like, who doesn't like that? <laughs> 
Gene, uh, I put A tier. Gene, I put A tier. Same Rosario, uh, A tier. Mm, Dory, B tier. Dongfei, I put you in A. Mona, high, definitely high S. Same with Hu Tao, actually. Barbara, A tier, I would say. In fact, unless I put you above Kujo Sara a bit. In fact, well, we're going to move this around. We're going to move this around a little bit. Let's see. Uh, boom. Okay, this, this looks a lot better here. And then as for this, we're going to move this around. Okay, I cannot. Okay, there we go. So this is looking a little bit good right there. And then as for this, I think this is all right. The way I have it. Though I would put Sucrose a little bit up there. I put Sucrose up there. Uh, Your name, for some reason, I can't remember. But you were a decent... I liked your character a little bit. So I'd put you right here. I put you above here. Right. I put you actually above Yon. And hell, actually, I put you above Kujo Sara, honestly. I liked her character. I can't remember her name to save my life, but I liked her character. Uh, let's see. Who else we guys? Damn, we almost got done with most of these. These two... Oh, actually, hold on. What am I doing? Beto S tier. SS tier, definitely. What am I doing? I'm, I'm being dumb right now. Beto definitely going the SS tier. Same with freaking... Nanguanga definitely going in the S tier as well. So, we're looking a little bit scattered. And then, I guess these two, I don't really have too much of an opinion on. So, I guess they go down here. Not bad characters, but I, I don't really have too much of an opinion on them that much. Especially since you don't see them that often. You really don't. So, I guess that's why I'm putting my tier list right now. So, that's pretty much it. So, this is my tier list for the female characters. And without further ado, I think that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. Um... Please don't destroy me in the comment section. Once again, this is my own opinion about it. I still haven't watched all the whole trailers and everything like that. So, these are definitely subject to change. Kazuha is still best boy, though. And Ganyu is still best girl, in my opinion. Though, Kaching has grown on me a little bit as well. See, like, it's it's a war up top for the best waifu at the moment. So, you know, the, the, the war is ongoing. Except for Nahida, because even though she's 500 years old, like, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, but, yes. But what for you? I think that's where I'm going to end the video. I, like, it's 2 o'clock almost in the morning. I need to go to sleep a little bit. I wanted to do this fun little video for you guys. Kind of share my thoughts on what my, you know, opinions on the characters so far. And, you know, try to give you all a little bit of insight on where I'm at, at least in Genshin. As far as my favorite characters and where my mindset's at at the moment. So... Well, for ado, hope you guys enjoyed, and this is going to be Shinobi Eevee sign off. Let me know who your guys' favorite characters are, at least female or male-wise. In fact, let me down, know in the comment down below, who's your number one in both female and male? For me, Kazuha is for male, and it's got to be between Kaching and Ganyu for female. Like, it's between those two, but Kazuha is definitely for the dudes, bro. He's... He, like, the, like I already knew that man was going to be my favorite when he was an animal unit. Plus, he was in like a samurai, and then there's the whole scene where he blocked he blocked A's like whole sword and everything like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he is him for real. He is him. So, yeah. Now let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, this is gonna be Shinobi Evie signing off. I'm out.